So Dow obviously first time since 2015-16 season Dagenham are into the second round of the FA Cup. I suppose probably pleased personally and for the club with that. Yeah, I'm delighted for the players first and foremost. I thought they put in a, a tremendous effort today um, against a very good Grimsby team uh, who play really good football and I thought we were really disciplined in our defending and um, counter-attacked really well. And that must have felt like the most sort of complete performance probably so far this season with, with a lot more options throughout the team as well. Yeah, we, everyone knows we've had horrendous luck with, with our injuries so far this season. And e even players that we brought in late, like Charlie Adams, Abs, um, and Scotty Wilson, they, they haven't been training before they come here, so they needed a couple of weeks to get up to speed as well. And, and they're finally getting to where they need to be. And Miles Weston back today as well, which is, which is a massive plus for us, and, and hopefully one or two come back soon as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and like you said, Scott Wilson not trained, but but looking very sharp today, and two brilliant finishes from him. Yeah, I think Willow will will get better and better as we go along. As I said, he, he's um, he's had a little bit of training early on in the pre-season, then he's not had a lot, and then he's coming to us, and he was probably a little bit off for his for his standard where he wants to be. So I think in the first couple of games, although he was willing and he walked really, really hard, he wasn't at the sharpest. I think he's, he's, he's getting towards that now. Mm. And you touched on it briefly there, major boost having Miles Weston back. He looked very dangerous down that right flank, didn't he? Yeah, Miles gives you an outlet. He's got great pace and, and strength and he's, he's a good character, Westy. You know, he's been in winning football teams, he's won promotions and he's, he's a winner and a leader. And I think he, he helps us here immensely. Uh, and another sort of decision, I suppose, managerially to make um, Abu Agogo the captain today. Um, I suppose that's just maybe just for reasons in the dressing room. Obviously, a lot of leaders already there. Yeah, we've got a lot of leaders in the change room. I think um, Abs has captained some very, very big football clubs, um, and we, I felt that for the, for the time being, he, he'll be the one to lead the team. There's nothing against Kenny Clark, who I know teammate of mine, he's a, he's a tremendous player and I, if I'm being honest, I thought Kenny probably had his best game of the season today, so his reaction to it was superb and it's, it's, it shows the kind of man he is as well. And obviously now going forward, probably just looking to build on this with a, another sort of busy and, and tricky week in the National League. Yeah, no, listen, I think we have to you know, take the positives out of today's game, the, obviously the result, but the performance was good. Defensively, I thought we looked very, very good uh, across the 90 minutes and um, we look to build on it, we look to hopefully get a few players back as well and kick on. Mm -hmm. uh, and I listened to John Gowan's interview pre-match and he did say McCallum's back out doing some running and some ball work so that's a positive and a step in the right direction as well. Yeah definitely Ranty hopefully as well but I think with, with Paul and with Dean we, we can't rush him. I think we, we, when they come back we need to get him back so they stay back permanently. We can't afford to risk anyone, anyone too early. We'll assess again Paul and Dean uh, Monday morning. Mm -hmm. And I suppose as a manager you'll be looking forward to having all them options available again soon enough. Now listen well, I think if you look if you look inside of of our of our squad and inside of the building, the players we've got, I think we've recruited well across the summer. And unfortunately, for various reasons, we've not been able to get everyone out on the pitch together at, at, at the right time. Um, and we've got to be patient and wait to get them back on the pitch. And I believe we've got a side that can challenge at the top end of the table come the end of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, and probably looking forward to testing yourself this week against two sides that have started well in Boreham Wood and, and Stockport County. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Luke's a good friend of mine. He's done a terrific job at Boreham Wood over the last four or five years. We know that'll be a tough game. Um, and we'll worry about Stockport after Tuesday. <laughs> or if, yeah, after Tuesday night.